now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. Well, hello. <laughs> For some reason, I was just thinking the weather wise would just pop up and I was going to study it since I got it wrong on Tuesday. I'm coming prepared today. Fair enough. But you not prepared focused. for us to be on camera. You were focused. <laughs> yeah, you were so focused My on mind. What, the, Tunnel what the answer vision. could be. <laughs> no, we have to uh, tantalizingly dangle it in front of folks here yes. before we get to the actual graphic. Okay. I just want to see it. Okay. I'm not in control of that either. There it is. <laughs> Your weather wise question. The driest summer in Iowa's. Iowa City's history took place in which year? 1955, 1983, 1991, or 2012? Those are your options. Give you not much of a hint, but all of them were dry years. Which one could it be? Our Hiawatha City Cam at this point showing Interstate 380 traveling pretty smoothly at this point too. Uh, no weather related traffic incidents as we've been talking about all morning and pretty much for the last little while. Very little rain during the work week has been taking place in most cases. Temperatures are in the 60s right now with winds out of the northeast pretty light too between about 5 to 10 miles per hour at most. Overall, your first alert painting a quiet picture again today. Rain and storms unlikely. Only a bit of a reduction in air quality possible this afternoon as we see ozone levels potentially building up a bit. That's as uh, some low level pollution interacts with sunlight. It's actually a chemical reaction to create ozone that gets concentrated during the day. It disperses though at night as we lose the daytime heating, but it can cause some respiratory effects in folks, especially those sensitive to it. And that's likely what the extent of the effects would be today. Those with respiratory conditions that already are there. As we go through the day, we're expecting winds to stay fairly light. That's part of the factor for that ozone increase, as well as some scattered clouds as we head toward this afternoon. Now there could be a little occasional bursts of a little bit of a breeze certainly be welcome so it's otherwise going to be quite warm and quite sunny too so any sort of little wind would help tonight we'll see mostly clear skies make a return and similar story tomorrow almost an identical start to the day as we're expecting today temperatures will be in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees we're near 90 uh, in charles city at 89 90 on the nose in iowa city mostly sunny skies expected to continue this weekend is when the shower and storm chance arrives now saturday a lot going on freedom festival parade in cedar rapids as well as other events across the area Likely most of the day staying dry. Some showers and storms will be to our west to start off, and then an additional development looks pretty possible uh, toward western Iowa. That will shift slowly to the east by the time we get towards Saturday evening and night, hopefully bringing some beneficial rainfall at the same time, but it could also bring some stronger storms. Severe weather looks most likely in western Iowa here in the yellow. That does clip our far western counties, including Marshalltown, Iowa Falls, and surrounding areas. But in eastern Iowa, we can't totally rule it out Saturday night. I just think it would be very isolated if it does take place. And hail and some strong winds would be the main threat if any, with any of those storms, even in western Iowa. As we head toward the weekend, again, it's when things turn a little bit uh, more unsettled. Next week, though, is when things turn just a little bit cooler. Temperatures will be in the low 80s, perhaps, on Monday. And then as we head toward the middle of next week, upper 80s return and stay warm. We'll see the slim chance for storms stay there, too. Your weather-wise question, once again, the driest summer, and so we're talking meteorological summer, that's June through August, Okay. in Iowa City's history, took place in which year? I feel like you've alluded to this this morning without maybe giving the exact year. I did, but that year is not one of the choices. Oh, I knew I should have been paying closer attention. No, it's okay. <laughs> okay, driest... Shot in the dark, right? um, Yes, it is. I'm going to say... 1991. And look at how well she shot. Yes. That was the driest year, which I honestly expected 1988 to be up there. It's actually uh -huh. a little farther down the list than I expected. Okay. I think that was started off very dry and then turned a little bit wetter later. 1991, though, was the driest ever. Uh, we are currently, of course, well on pace if we yes. don't see a, a reversal at this point, uh, even if we just kind of match what we've done so far. Uh, going ahead through the summer, we would easily break that record. But we got lots of weeks to go. We'll find out right. what happens. And see my concentration at the top when I wasn't <laughs> paying attention that we were on camera. It paid off. It did. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's proven. So expect that again potentially tomorrow morning. It works. All right. Thanks, Corey. Yeah.